All right, we're at the home of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. Um, it's uh, George and Joey, actually, and we're doing some siding. Um, the house was painted somewhat recently. George actually painted the house. Beautiful house out here in Bilberti. It's on about six acres. Um, really beautiful house, but they're looking just for a more permanent solution as far as their siding goes. So that's where we come in. Um, we are doing a, a full replacement, full tear off. We'll go back with the seven eighths. Um, <clears throat> we'll go back with the seven eighths to the studs. We'll do our seam tape flashing, um, head flashing on all the windows and doors, and then our trim, our Tyvek, excuse me, and then our hardy trim. And then we're going back with the Cedar Mill Select eight and a quarter. So that's kind of what we're doing. We did sign off. If you see the little pump house right here, uh, Home Depot actually did this house. Uh, the pump house and did a cedar did a colonial roughs on incorrectly they actually covered up the shadow line so just to make sure and i want this documented on the video that we did recognize that we took out and compared material to figure out that it was exactly that um, and in spite of that they did want to go back with cedar mill select on the house so i just want to clarify that we are doing smooth trim on all windows and doors we're doing a smooth fascia replacement and we are doing a drip edge replacement with smooth. So all the trim is going to be smooth. The board will be a cedar mill select eight and a quarter uh, grained board, not smooth. So that's what we got fascia replacement everywhere. There's pretty significant rot in, in various places of the fascia um, right here, this joint right here. Uh, about 12 feet up there there's a lot of rot on the fascia um, it's that masonite stuff just like the siding so we need to get that off replace it and replace the drip edge as well all these dormers full tear off all siding replacement all trim will be replaced uh, originally we were looking at painting under the porch ceilings we're not going to do that so there's this beautiful big you know wraparound porch here and a small porch area in the back and we're not painting the underside of that porch ceiling or the railings or anything else. <clears throat> really beautiful piece of property out here. Um, on the sides, we have pretty much the same thing. We have these gable ends. Um, do this is very important. You know, obviously we typically don't anyways, but we're not nailing into the roof. Um, we're not going to do any net walk boards or anything like that. So that was one request that uh, that George has of absolutely no nailing of anything into the roof. Um, so we'll make sure that doesn't happen. You can see these again, this window, there's these brackets. Um, there's quite a few of them. Um, those were to hold ladders um, when George painted this himself a while back. So we can take those brackets off. They don't need to stay. So wherever you see these kind of brackets like this, pull it off the wall and get rid of it. Um, but everything else, we're just doing a reconditioning of the soffit. So we'll caulk and seal all that with a good 50 year caulk, repaint it with the same paint process with the Lux on and the super paint as we're gonna put on the Hardy. We might need a minor amount of mortar just on the chimney here where the chimney meets the sidewall. Uh, we'll mortar that and then seal that up uh, with a good silicone caulk. Coming around back, this is on the back side here is pretty much a uh, majority of the siding. So here we have, it's a, this is about an eight foot wall here, and then there's about a nine foot wall from there. There you can see the porch that we were talking about. And we do have this area right up top there with the bedroom, probably a bedroom window, it might be a media room. <clears throat> um, but that is also part of our scope of work, including the fascia and drip edge, just as we're doing everywhere on the, the first floor. <clears throat> so that's kind of the, uh, the back wall here. Um, again, smooth trim, eight and a quarter, uh, cedar mill select. And you can see some more of these brackets. So there's two, there's one, those are all coming off the wall. Smooth trim. Um, so you can see there, that's a better view there. But again, corners are just rotten. Every corner is pretty much rotten out to some degree. So facial replacement is going to be the way to go. And you can see up under here, it's not a two inch fascia. So you can see what we're working with. There's um, 
with the three quarter um, so we can do a facial replacement there as opposed to an overlay and then we're back to this side um, see this corner major separation there um, right here completely rotten so we need to get rid of that you can see a good view of this corner up there completely rotten out so we need to get rid of that and then back to just to the other gable end so we can trim this tree limb back um, George said he'd prefer not to cut the whole thing off but um, you know just trim it up and see what we can do as far as working safely but still uh, trying to preserve his tree as much as possible but same thing as the other side is just doing a full tear off you can see another one of those brackets uh, full tear off and then our process will start from there as far as the underlayment and then ultimately the uh, the trim and the siding so here we can see just to again clarify it's clearly a colonial roughs on see with the rough grain cut texture and they did it wrong actually as far as not having your shadow line here it's actually tucks up and that, that's what they use to lap over um, but again the house is not colonial roughs on it is cedar mill select eight and a quarter so that's about it um, really appreciate your time today and uh, we really look forward to doing a great job for you um, any questions you need please give me a call uh, otherwise we uh, we look forward to getting the project started for you thanks so much bye bye